We got some new merch. If you want to buy some like the Stabbing Pathfinder here, links are down below or you can go on your computer, go ahead and type in crowdme.com, find your favorite creator. Huh? Wait a minute. I'm not a robot. Why is it asking this all the time? Unless... No. No, you're not a robot, man. You're a human being. Just snap out of it. You're not Revenant. You're not, <laughs> you're not a robot, dude. Get hold of yourself, okay? Do robots brush their teeth? No. You brush your teeth because you're human. Human beings brush teeth. Revenant, aka the Synthetic Nightmare, is literally a killing machine. But it wasn't always like this. He was once a human being and the best hitman in the Mercenary Syndicate. However, without Revenant's knowledge, Hammond Robotics turned him into a simulacrum, which is basically a robot. But his programming made him see himself as still human. Some years ago, Revenant was assigned a task to kill this guy named Marcos. Wait, that's... My name. Oh god, oh no. And he did so with relative ease, killing him and leaving his daughter, Loba, orphaned. By the way, people speculate that she's an adult now, and she'll be a new legend one day. So uh, stay tuned for that one. But in this scuffle, Revenant's programming started glitching out, making him finally see his true self. So now he is thirsty for vengeance against Hammond Robotics, the people who made him what he is. He already killed Hammond Robotics poster boy, Forge. You know, that guy that was supposed to be the new legend, and then, uh, you know... You did. And now he's in the Apex Games. With the introduction of Revenant, we also got a brand new season. A new gun, the Sentinel. It's a bolt action sniper that's like a Kraber, but a little bit worse. But you know people are gonna do those 360 no scope montages for sure. With the Sentinel, you can use a battery to give it disruptor ammo. But I don't know, batteries are pretty useful, and this doesn't even do that much damage. Speaking of snipers, they made all snipers part of a new ammo type, sniper ammo. They also decided that the G7 Scout is no longer a sniper and is now an assault rifle. And they also swapped the L-Star for the Devotion, so now the L-Stars are like everywhere, and the Devotion is now a care package item. And it's uh, pretty great. Devotion, I'm taking it! I'm taking the Devo! Oh shoot, I never actually used it. Also, can we get an F in the chat for turbochargers? Capital City is now Scrapital City. The Fuel Depot is now a big Skybeam building. You shouldn't really go into the laser. It's, it should be pretty obvious. And there are a bunch of new lava cracks that you could jump into and float. Wee! Oh, 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 that's painful! But Revenant is truly the part that I was the most hyped for. Although he's a bit of a jerk in the game. Follow me or stay out of my way. Get me an extended sniper mag. I want that. Give it to me. You're better off dead, but I could use the cover. He's pretty fun to play. I feel like uh, Revenant is the Reaper equivalent of this game. Ooh. Yeah, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. I actually hope they give him a voice line where he says, die, die, die. It's not like Overwatch owns the rights to the words, die, die, die. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Every time someone says die once, they get $5 from them. <laughs> so now that you know who Revenant is, let's learn how to play him. Shall we? Oh my god! Oh god! What the hell was that? Revenant's tactical is called Shh. Revenant's tactical is called Shh. Revenant's tactical is called silence. It's basically a mini grenade on a 25 second cooldown. It does a whole 10 damage! <laughs> But all joking aside, what makes it really good is that it's like a Sombra hack. When you land it on an enemy, they can't use any abilities for 10 whole seconds. And you can hit multiple targets. Use this to scare away enemies in early fights. Or if you combine it with grenades, your enemy's screen will be so disorienting. It's like the screen is full of... While the damage is minimal, it adds up. And even if you miss, which will happen kind of often, enemies can still run into it and take the damage. You can use it while aiming down sight, running, or just have it out forever. And don't use it at all, you know? It's not weird at all. 
It's not weird. I tried to win with the silence kill of being the final kill on stream, but it's uh, a lot harder than it looks. To be honest, at that point, you're just flexing on people, and that's not nice. Which is exactly what Revenant would do. Oh, guy, okay, guys, one. get ready. We can him. Right, him. He's low. I'm leaving him. He's actually one. Oh, he's one. Oh, no. Nice. I mean, it. He was like 30. He was exactly 30. And ah, oh, I'm so mad. Revenant's passive ability is called Stalker, which is broken up into two abilities. First, he crouch walks quicker. This is pretty useful for flanking enemies silently or when moving while healing, especially in the storm. But his other passive is that he climbs about twice the length of everyone else. This is great for chasing enemies in high places. Wait, he's low, he's low, he's really low. I'm grappling up. Like a goud. What's up? Or getting yourself into a sniper's nest. Zone, bro, so I think, so I think we just, just kind of cool it out for a second. Yeah. 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 yeah, we could talk yeah, about, about life or something. something. It isn't unlimited climbing like the cinematic makes it seem like. I'm poor brother. I've been lied to! The ultimate is called the death totem. When you place the totem down, you and your team can interact with it and it makes you a shadow. So now, if you were to lose all your health, it brings you back to the totem instead. It has a radius that is decently big, but if you leave the radius, you lose the shadow ability. Wait, we got the ult, brother. What did I just, I, I'm out of the protection zone, bro. It was too early, it was too early. Uh... Also, you don't take any shield damage, just health. So you come back with full shields and one HP. It only lasts 30 seconds when you use it, so be quick about getting in and out. This ultimate sounds OP on paper, but if you don't place it in a smart location, it won't get much value at all. But if you put it in a good location, you can freely wreck havoc on teams and they won't even know where you went. That was actually kind of clutch, holy up. Yeah, that was crazy, wait a minute. The death totem can give you the confidence you need to make crazy plays. <laughs> and the safety net that you've always wanted so that you can YOLO in for the win. Is there more? Yeah, there is. Dude, I'm bopping them, bro. You can even revive teammates as a shadow. It might just be a glitch, but some areas you can't put down the totem. Mine just straight up disappeared this one time. Join me in the shadows. Dude, really? Where did my ultimate go? Where did my ultimate go? I don't know. When your team holds the high ground and you don't want to lose it, use the ultimate like I did here on my stream. I'm using my ultimate. Come over here, guys. I'm gonna use my ultimate and I'm gonna drop down. They're grenading us up there. Guy, that, that, that Pathfinder is weak. Also, finishing people as a shadow is pretty cool. You have to try it at least once. I'm, I'm gonna finish him. Okay. Ooh, look at this finisher. I'm like a ghost. Oh! That, that look clean. Look, I'm not the best Revenant. I am Revenant. So you should listen to these pro tips. Skin bag. Number one, you cannot heal at all while using the death totem. However, you can use Lifeline's healing drone, which means that Lifeline and Revenant combo really well together. Number two, since you come back with one health after using Revenant's ultimate, I would recommend stacking up on medkits as Revenant. Wasting time syringing is annoying, even with gold armor. You gotta use them medkits, bruh. Number three, Revenant also pairs very well with Caustic and Watson. They can protect your totem with traps, so you can safely heal after you die. Also, if you're playing caustic and you see an enemy totem you can either destroy it oh wait did i not mention that you could destroy the totem well you can sorry about that back to the tips or you can put your trap down over it so that when they come back they'll immediately be knocked by your gas because they'll have one health number four use your silence tactical against pathfinders octanes and wraiths who will try and run away from you without their ability you and your team can easily chase them down and they're a force to fight there's one right here you guys can't wraith can't wraith Oh, my ability is actually nuts. When you're Wraith and I hit you with that, it actually counters you. You can't do jack. I teabagged him, dude. Revenant is a ton of fun, although it was a bit difficult to get wins with him this season. I wonder if skill-based matchmaking is the reason why it was so hard, or it's because I play with friends who like to uh, troll a little bit. Kanji, Kanji, Kanji. Daddy. Kanji, right. Daddy. Yeah. Dad! Come on, come on, come on. Dude. Come on, Dude, buddy. commit to something. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, please. Right next to us. Dude, commit. Just go, just go. Throwing jump pad. 
No, they're running in. Dude, they're running they're in. Running, they're running, dude, they're running they're in. Coming. Wait, are they really? Yes, I'm not trolling. <laughs> they're they're definitely about to push. You asshole! Either way, Revenant feels less powerful than other legends. His kit is cool, but at times it's very underwhelming. In my opinion, he needs a slight buff. Maybe make his climb longer and faster so he can keep up with Pathfinder's absurd verticality. Maybe make his tactical's explosion a little bit bigger, or even increase the radius of his ultimate. But in his current state, for noobs, he's like a medium difficult character to play. His kit isn't rocket science, but it has its skillful plays. But what do you guys think? Do you think Revenant's easy to play, hard to play? Do you think Revenant needs buffs like I do? Or do you think he's actually overpowered and needs nerfs? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay guys, I just found out I'm a robot, so I gotta, you know, do something about that. So uh, I'll catch you later. Yeah, noobs! Don't forget to check out my merch. I am now partnered with Crowdmade. I have relaunched the Fashion Makes No Sense merch. I'm also bringing back Rated N for noobs, but this time, it's embroidered. It's pretty nice. And now, introducing Dab Finder. So if you want to support a thick boy like me, go ahead and buy some merch. The links are all down below. Okay guys, I'm out.